Little over a year has passed since a former Dane County deputy killed his wife and sister-in-law in the couple's Fitchburg home. Andy Steele was diagnosed with ALS, a disease that a jury decided caused him to commit those murders. Today, those who knew Ashley Steele and her sister Casey are focusing on the future. Leah Linscheid has that story from McKee Farms Park. She loved children. She loved family. Memories of time spent with Ashley Steele. She was all about hope and spunk and sass and fun. Help and, old friends uh, focus on a future without her. She is the person that would light up a room when she walked in. And... <laughs> that future is what today is all about. A carnival held in Ashley's name offers up space to remember a mom, a sister, and a dear friend, while also looking ahead. This is about creating a future for these two kids that had they not had family, wouldn't have much of a future. I hope that they're surrounded by love, that they can get past what happened a year ago and um, just look, look forward. Proceeds from Ashley's play date will all go toward her two kids, Jack and Rachel, who lost their mom and aunt last year in a double homicide at the hands of their father, Andy Steele. They won't have the future maybe that they would have had with Ashley, but I think the future that they are creating is gonna be a good one for them. This is the, exactly the kind of event that she would have loved. Well, this is a place to reflect on time lost with a loved one. We never know when our moment might be our last moment. It's also about what's next for this family. And it's really important that we make memories today, that we don't just put things off and we don't wait, because that's the one thing that can never be taken away from us or our memories.